Hey folks and welcome back. My name is Juha Rokangas and you're watching the episode number four of my Zen and the Art of Guitar Maintenance tutorials. In this episode I will restring this early 1980s Squire precision bass. All right, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I noticed with this bass was how the strings were wound around the tuner posts, especially the A string was a bit problematic. The open note had this funny resonance, but we're gonna fix that when changing strings. You'll soon enough find out how. So start off by loosening the strings. Be careful not to make marks to the headstock when removing the strings. Clipping them off to, so it's easier for me to remove the old strings from the bridge. But before I do that, I'm protecting the finish behind the bridge with masking tape so I won't leave marks. Okay, like so. And on this video, we're not concentrating on other maintenance work, but I'll just do a little cleanup here like so regarding the the other maintenance tasks we'll make more videos of that stuff later on down the road so stay tuned for that now i'll move on to the mounting the strings to the bridge and we'll move on to the tuners start with low e so the first thing i'm doing is I'm checking with the low E string that the nut slot is good to go. So it's so the string slides well over it. And in this case, it does. So check and pay attention. Just pull the string straight. That's how much extra I leave. At the end of the headstock, I'll clip it off. Easy enough to remember, right? So the first thing with the tuner post, I'm pushing down the end of the string to the hole in the middle of the post and bend a nice sharp angle to get started and with the extra amount of string I left you'll notice that I get a nice few rounds of string wound around the post like so and here pay attention what I'm doing here I'm releasing a possible twist from the string that would cause intonation tuning problems, maybe minor, but could be still audible in, in certain circumstances. So it's a good idea to do that always when changing strings. So here, moving on to the A string, again, checking the nut slot. Now pay attention, pulling the string straight, holding at the A tuner, taking it back to the E tuner and end of the headstock, plus a little bit more for the A string a few centimeters more and now you'll find out how again I'll push it down to the hole nice sharp angle to get started and start winding carefully so the string winds downwards to the post and again checking that there is no twist in the string sideways and continuing winding it like so it will be a nice tight pack of string around the post. We move on to the D string. Again, pulling the string straight, holding it at the D tuner, pulling it back to the E. And this one, same amount of extra string as the, as the low E is enough for this. And this is because of the string tree at the headstock that will give us enough angle anyways. Okay, so checking again the possible twist. Okay, and now placing the string under the string tree to get that angle right. Moving on to the G string checking the knot slot 
and okay you could use lubricant for the nut slots if they feel tiny bit tight but you still might if they feel tight it's it's a good idea to take the base to a pro to have the nut checked so the base will have good um, tuning stability but typically if if the strings are sliding well over over the nut you would need lubrication for for the base nut okay so we move on pulling the string straight again backing off okay but now i the string is kind of short enough i need to clip off that uh, core wire because otherwise at the start when i bend that angle it wouldn't grip to that edge so i'm clipping off that little piece of core wire and, and starting from there winding it up here the amount of, of windings around the post is not so crucial as you notice there was a bit of a twist there to make the string relaxed so to speak and slipping it under that string tree right And there we have it. Okay, now be very careful when removing the tape. I'm doing it like sideways, like so, so there wouldn't be any uh, finish chipping off. This is not crucial on poly finished instruments, but with if it would be done with nitro, you could have problems. I wouldn't even use tape for nitro finished guitar, but use that piece of cloth instead to protect the finish. Now we can see here what the difference. So we have more string wound around the posts. So we got that E and A strings uh, angle steeper. And we got rid of that unwanted resonance on the open A note. And we'll move on to tuning up the instrument. Here I'm doing a light pre-stretching of strings. Be very careful with this. Do not overstretch you can really destroy your bass strings by overstretching them. It's not necessary to do that pre-stretching at all. If you do it, be very gentle. It will um, make the bass hold its tuning a bit quicker. But it's not necessary to do it because in, in a just a bit of playing and retuning a few times, it will it will settle and stay in tune well. In any any case. That's about it. I think we have it. Hey, quite an improvement just by changing strings. Especially the A string benefited a lot from those few extra rounds around the tuner post. All the funny resonances on the open note disappeared and the A string now sounds clean. All right, a, a quick recap of the essential points. Number one. One tip I didn't mention is a pretty obvious one. You can prolong your string life by keeping your hands and your bass clean. Bass strings do last generally quite a bit longer than guitar strings, but this doesn't mean they last forever. So how do you know when it's time to change a fresh set? Well, the tone gets darker the older the strings are, but for some players this can be a desired effect, a desired sound. But at the very latest, you should, however, consider changing new strings when they start to be worn down from under on the, at, at the fret locations. You can feel it here. At this point, your strings won't play perfectly in tune anymore. And the longer you postpone the inevitable, the worse you'll be in tune. Number two, there are many kinds of bass tuners. And on this video, we focused on these vintage style precision bass tuners with large posts. Now, if your bass has smaller diameter posts, this will obviously affect to how much extra you should leave when cutting the strings. Remember to pay attention, especially to the E and A strings in a Fender style bass headstock. Too few rounds and your open notes might resonate in the nut slots due to lack of pressure against the nut. Moving on, number three, releasing the twist of the strings. The heavy gauge bass strings don't get twisted quite as easily as guitar strings do when stringing up your instrument. But 
when it does happen, it can really ruin your bass intonation. So do pay attention to this detail. And number four, pre-stretching the strings. Be careful even more so than with a guitar. Do not overstretch. Better not pre-stretch at all than stretching too much because overstretching the strings really destroys your brand new set of strings. All right, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, please your comments down below. And if you found the video useful, hit that like button. It does help my YouTube channel to spread to more bass maniacs like you. And if you don't want to miss the next one, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Be safe, take care, peace, love and good music.